There's trouble, the large laundry twins. Restaurant's closed, boys. Brother, yeah. how are you, brother? <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you, man. Right. Hey, gentlemen, hey, gentlemen. What you got going on here? Dusty bottoms. What's up, brother? Well, we're working what on the old this? Spartan. Check this out. I'm, this is going to be our base camp when we go on the road. Think how amazing this would be if we just wrap this thing in all the people and the places that we've been. We airbrush on there. I met this amazing artist, man. He is talented. Yeah, he nah, he's good. So you got one trip, you got one scene, you just kind of continue around. Absolutely. It becomes, it almost like it becomes a full sleeve yeah. tattoo of yeah. all the places we've been and all the... I like that. Yeah. I like that. All right. But check this out. There's more. Mr. Yeah. High-Tech Gadget. That is slick. Wow. So you pull up from a hard day of ride and put the old huh. iron horse away. That's nice. Good. I got That's a four-day awesome, kitchen bro. pass, baby. That's cool. Man. All right, yeah, four days, we can cover some ground. That was awesome. Were you guys Well, we were talking about it earlier. You I got four days? Joe's got four days. Really? I'm proud of you, man. Yeah. Stepping out, dude. Yeah, yeah man. Nice work, man. Old trades, huh? <laughs> So I say we head up over the hill, let's go over and check out Black Candy the Gunnison and... Okay. Independence Pass just opened up. Yep. We drop down Independence, down into Redstone and hit Marble, so... Why are we talking? I'm serious, that's let's that's go. perfect. I'm in. Saddle up, cowgirls and cowboys. Where's your bikes at? I we valeted. Yeah. You know what I mean? Terry, Joe, John and Dustin. Four lifelong friends with a passion for riding the country and rediscovering the best of America that few people have seen or have long since forgotten. The places they go are filled with nostalgia and scenic wonder, and the people they meet are filled with pride and a raw energy that embodies the best of what America was and always will be. This is America's Lost and Found. This is unreal, isn't it? Wow, it's pretty sure. 12,095 feet. <laughs> Gotta love it, man. World, Snow in June. June. Is, this a, is this the highest pass? I think Cliff? Trail Ridge is 12,200 feet. So I was right. That'd be 105 uh, feet higher than this. I'm not willing to admit Dinner's that yet. Dusty. <laughs> I'm not willing to admit that yet. Think there's any good fishing down there? <laughs> I'll buy you dinner if you do a polar bear plunge right there, baby. <laughs> I think I could clear that. You think you got it in there? Dude, is there a guy skiing I got a right hundred bucks. There's, look at those I got a hundred bucks says you can't. No. Dude, you're a, a, just a biscuit over 300. I'll 100 kick bucks, in a hundred too. Dude, so we got he really wants you to get You need a new pair of boots. A, a yeah. Yeah. Comes Joe. with that. I got a hundred bucks right I got here, a hundred dollar bill. I, ain't I got a hundred dollar bill. You get to the other side. No, you got to go. You got to go it. from All here do is clear to the, the snow. snow. You don't have a hair. All right. To the snow. You, don't you got have the money? Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Look at that body print. People are going to come up here and think they found Sasquatch. Can I get 200 to come home? That ain't a snow angel. That's a snow splat, dude. That's a splat angel, a snow dude. Snow <laughs> That's awesome. You paid for my repairs on the bike. So our boy T just freaking takes a swan dive into the uh, snow pit over here that I had no idea would support him. I'm still kind of amazed that he didn't even get wet and it cost me a hundred dollar bill. But, uh, you know, he did it. I sure shit wouldn't have done it. He won 200 bucks on it. He made good on the bet. Joe made good on his offer. $200 richer. Thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Appreciate you. <laughs> Peak. Man. Talk about scenic. Beehive Coke ovens. 1890s. Right. Awesome. So they're restoring this. This is cool. Yeah. We gotta eat though. Now let's go eat. I'm done. Let's go, go over to Red Zone and see if we can't scare up some supper. Alright. Thanks, sir. 
So good, so good. Uh, nice little lunch. This is exactly what I needed, man. Oh, hi. Hi, gentlemen. How is everything here? It's very good. Terry's what? still waiting on his second helping. Do you need a second round, Terry? Well, I ordered, you had on the menu, you had the gluten was free. <laughs> and you're waiting for the free gluten? It's all you can eat gluten. Okay. <laughs> Terry wanted his gluten free, but with Terry, it's more like glutton. But I was more interested in finding out more about Redstone. What stopped us here is we, we saw the Coke ovens across the street, and then so we decided to have lunch. What's, uh, what's up with the Coke ovens? Can you tell us a little more about sure. it? Sure. Um, well, you know, this whole town is based on the history of the coal mine, and the coal mine, which is 10 miles up the road, the Coke ovens are a process of that. They brought the coal down, and then they refined the coal here. They, they burn it off in those Coke ovens. So we just rode our bikes in from Denver and Colorado Springs. Can we ride up to the mine? Oh, no, you cannot. Um, you can hike or you can uh, go by horseback, of mm, course. I say uh, We should horse. ride a hike up there. Are you freaking kidding me? I'm not about to hike anywhere. Well, you want to check on Terry's glutton-free? Yes. Yeah, he's glutton-free. Just keep it coming. Right Thanks, Becky. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I'm going to walk horseback, water, right? Together. Yeah. Let's do it. I'm in. Let's, Let's go, go check him out. Let's finish up. We'll head over there. Well, you got more Randy. gluten coming? Randy. Yeah, I'll finish my gluten. Randy. <laughs> With avalanche, avalanche outfitters. Yep, let's do it. Up you guys? So we rode up to the ranch and this cowboy Randy showed up to greet us and I didn't know if he's gonna say hello or shoot us. We told that you could possibly give us a a ride up to uh Coal Basin, I believe it is. Oh up by the old ghost town here? and stuff? Yeah. yeah. Uh well yeah. I'm pretty booked up today. I got a lot going on. I could do you first thing in the morning now, I can get you up there. Right. It's about a three hour trip up there. You got horses big enough for these guys? Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I got good horses. I might have to get a draft horse for this All guy here. Right. I think we can make it happen. So, so three hours up, three hours back? Yeah, and about an hour at the camp. We'll Any food camp. at camp? We'll feed you good. What would you suggest me this afternoon? Well, yeah, we so gotta, you guys we go up to Marble. Time. There's a lot of stuff to see in Marble. There's the Marble Quarry up there. Yeah. Uh, wow. Probably really? 15, yeah. 20 miles from here or something. Yeah, it's just right up the road. Right. Really? So we can ride up there, come back oh, in the yeah. morning? Yeah, what time tomorrow pretty. morning? Bright and early. What, what, so it's an all-day deal, though. Oh, yeah, all day. Thanks. I just need to warn you, it's all about food with Joe. It's what time is breakfast, where are we eating lunch, and what time's dinner. So I've noticed the food. The food hey, is this? a big thing. Hey, what, what I'm starting to worry about one of the horses, you know. <laughs> We're going to get along just fine. We can't wait to see <laughs> tomorrow. Right, looking forward to Thank it. Thank you. Have you. a good time today. Right, take care, Andy. All right. So as we get in the town of Marble, we see marble everywhere yeah. in every yard. And right on the side of the road, we see big blocks of marble, white, with a big stamp on the side saying, Made in the USA. That's what I'm talking about. Hello, hello, hello. Good, how are you? I'm Dustin. Hi, Dustin. Hi, I'm Terry. Hi, Terry. Kimberly, nice yes. to meet you. So we're greeted right away by Kimberly, the VP of Operations of the Marble Quarry. And I could tell right off the bat, this was gonna be a great day. We heard about your little rock quarry up here. We wanted to come and uh, check it out. I mean, first thing I noticed is made in USA. That's what we love the best about it, right off the bat. It's How about you? It's pretty special to us. And yeah. the original tomb of the unknown soldier stone came from this quarry, is that correct? Yes, it did, over 70 years ago. Wow. It mm. did. And we actually have quarried the replacement block for that, for the tomb. So you actually have the replacement stone here? Yeah, would you like to see it? Absolutely, that'd be yeah. cool. Yeah. Okay, this way. Are you kidding me? They quarried the tomb of the unknown soldier stone here 70 years ago. It's got weather cracks, stress cracks. They got the replacement stone right here. Hell yeah, I want to see it. How cool is that? It's a big old chunk of marble. <laughs> now what's this piece weigh? What's that weigh? Yeah. This is, the weight on this stone is calculated at 120,000 pounds. 120,000 pounds, 60 tons, $80,000 as it sets before it's even carved. It's absolutely incredible. Well, the quarry is actually about four miles up the road. 
and it is when you approach it it is a solid mountain of rock and would you like to see it absolutely if can we get into we the quarry there i mean well, we give us a ride it is an underground quarry so you have to all have mshaw certified safety equipment which do we have to take you. a test you do have to take a test oh man so, i read it all right i'll have our quarry uh master gary bascom meet you at the entrance and that'd be uh, awesome Get to you bet. Dude, let's go see a little bit of America. Julian yeah. Old Soldier, let's do it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. So we just got tags that we had to keep in our pocket in case something happens inside the mine for identification purposes. So I guess uh, they, they match up the tag that they find in your pocket with the uh, the list of names in case we're just goo. They find the body and no remains. I'm the X-Man. This is pretty eerie. With Dusty leading us, going into this tunnel going, oh e oh 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 e oh 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 I hope, I hope, it's up to work we go. So we're here in the Mule Marble Quarry. This is a 30 minute supply of air. If something happens and there's a backfire in here, gives us 30 minutes of breathing air. We've got our special belt, specialized glasses, and our 4X hats. Of course, we got our assigned footwear here. I got the special pair. Dustin is a little bit of a candy butt. He got the insulated ones. So we're honorary workers for the day. It's time for Terry to get his feet wet again. He did it on Independence Pass, now he gets to do it in the marble quarry because they don't carry a size 17 boot to fit those big old Sasquatch feet of his. Something just bit, something bit me. Right up there, the opening outside where we came in at the top, that's portal one, where they started a long time ago. That's the original portal? That's the original portal. They started back uh, in the late 1890s. And this here was right around the turn of the century when they came in. You can see the texture on the walls, the little steps. That was all done before 1941. How long have you been doing this? Uh, 22 years. Here? Here. These are working men. Come to work every day, producing this, shipping all over the world, made in America. This is what makes America what it is today. These are true working men right here. I've had enough. Time to go home, get cleaned up, because we've got an all day trail ride tomorrow. Ready to trade in that iron horse for a real horse, big boy? Oh, buddy. It's been a few months. It's been a long time since I've been on a horse. <laughs> well, there's the man of the hour. You guys are going to go through with it, huh? We ain't as scared of a little horseback ride, right? I was right? wondering if you guys would even come. All right, well, we got a long ride in store for you guys today. There's going to be a big meal waiting for you when we get up there. Oh, yeah. I got a couple yeah. big mounts at uh, Terry and I. Well, the one I got picked out for you weighs a ton. And I sized you up yesterday, and I thought, damn, I got to get a draft horse. So how do we get started here? All you got to do is go saddle up. All right. I think Randy was a bit surprised that we really showed up for the ride. But the true surprise was when we went on that trail ride. We rode out like the Cartwrights to a place that was unbelievable. Today I went riding, never been. Where the mountain stops and the sky begins. Where the trees are bent from the snow and the wind Today I went where I'd never been Yeah! 
showers on a pony, I'm ready to eat. Oh, rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, it's time to grub. This is the best kitchen in the world. Oh, yeah. Oh. Well, that's enough for Terry and I. What's everyone else eating? Dude, what a great ride. Three hours. Cheers. Backdrop like this. Cowboy coffee. Show up. What do we have waiting for us? Bear meat, biscuits, and gravy. Speaking of biscuit. Eggs. Imagine that big biscuit. You two are first in the chow line. Line starts here. We were noticing hey a pattern here that you two have been first line in the chow line here. a little too long, if you know what I mean. Now, Randy, what, what's your background? I mean, how'd you end up here in Redstone? Well, when I got out of Army in uh, the first hitch, I came out here full time and uh, I was working down on the front range for a couple different ranches, or the western slope farther west of here. And then uh, Iraq started. So I left, it went to Boise to re enlist, and I went to Iraq. So wait a minute, so you, you got out. Yeah, I got out. You yeah. re enlisted on your own. Well, I got out in 96 out of the 82nd. And then uh, for eight years, I just made a living off the back of a horse. What made you re enlist? Well, I don't know. That's a, I mean, war was on. I thought it was the right thing to do. You know, that's a, so voluntarily put your country before your family and your own ambitions I mean that's just yeah, for us for yeah for us that's just great that we have people that are willing to serve our country like you do and, and that's what makes it great people uh, like you and and this food pretty good too <laughs> <laughs> gentlemen like raise your cups to Randy oh. and the rest of the crew for bringing us up here Avalanche Outfitters. Thank you. Here Thank you second. guys for coming. I'll raise a piece of, ba hey, hey, piece of bacon. I'm hey, raising hey, a piece hey, of hey, bacon. Hey, you guys are having coffee. <laughs> Man can be shot for that up here. It's legal in this county. It's bacon. Spend my dollar. Parking out underneath mountain blue light. Over up tight. Make a little loving. Put a turn of loving on May 6th and night. So when I saw these guys come pulling up the driveway, you know, on these Harleys and stuff, I, I really didn't know what to expect, you know, and they, they pulled in and they're just as down to earth and great guys, you know, they're just so awesome. They all come from uh, total blue collar backgrounds, you know, and they're, they're real people and uh, I, what it's just it, just being with them and coming up in here, you know, they, these guys, they're, they're on a mission, you know, and I really respect what they're doing. And, uh, I was glad they could come and hang out with us and I could bring them up here and show them my backyard and the view from my office. Oh, it's all right. My Dixie Woo! Wow. Got a song for the location. What a, I was just about to say the same thing. What a perfect song. Uh, it's not over, right? You still promised oh, no. me I'd get to shoot some firearms. <laughs> <laughs> Good old country boy, firearms, that's all I need right now. A little whiskey. Oh yeah. <laughs> a little whiskey and then we'll tell some lies and we'll it'll be a great day. day. On your mark, get set. So we shot some guns, drank some moonshine, told lots of lies. We had a good old country boy, good time. But then Terry, he disappeared for about an hour. I don't know where he went though. Well, I checked in with work, did the responsible thing. There's problems. Now I gotta head back. Well, hello, just Charlotte. So nice you could show up. What the hell? Where you been? They ran over the lodge. Well, now I had a message. Too. I gotta roll tomorrow morning. What? And tomorrow, Black Candy of the Gunnison, man. Dude, we're yeah. doing Black Candy. I'll try to make it for the flow, but I gotta run tomorrow morning. Sure. I, dude, I, you know me. I got really? the, I, I got a responsibility I got to take care of. That's cool. I understand. Well, then let's uh, let's all have a little drink tonight. Have a little whiskey I'm up for song. Yeah. Send you off tomorrow. tomorrow. All right. Send You're on the road. I still got seven or eight hours. Days. Let's get her done. Let's do it. That's it. Let's listen <laughs> right, to this. Guys. You guys need any water? You need a pre-stretch before we hike down? Holy smokes. <laughs> All right, let's skip.
That's oh, pretty yeah. wide ditch. Wow. Big old ditch. That's a Holy big God. old ditch right there. This place is amazing. I wonder how it was formed. I wonder if it was, you know, shifting of the plates or if it is actually water cut this thing through here. What the heck? I think a plate in his head shifted. Like any of us would know what he's talking about. We need to find a park ranger. Here comes a ranger right now. Quick run. Oh no, did you pay? <laughs> hey Dustin, I'm Murray. Nice Shoemaker. Joe McCreary. Hey Joe. John. Hey John. Ranger Murray. No better guy to have at a national park than a park ranger. He took us to a lookout point that was just amazing. Oh, oh God. God. Check this out, dude. <laughs> Check Whoa. this out. Wow. There's a place down there called the Chucker Trail where you can drive in to within a mile and then hike down into the canyon. And a lot of people start boating trips from there. It's still exciting, but not oh like this. Yeah. Well, again, thank you. I think we're going to try to sneak out and then go south on 92. Yeah, go okay. check out Morrow Point Boat Tour. That's okay. good fun. Okay. You'll like Absolutely. it. Absolutely. Yeah, it's a whole Absolutely. different perspective. Cool. Thanks again for your time. Appreciate All right. it. Thank you. Take it easy, All guys. Right. Have fun. All right. A boat ride down through the Black Canyon of the Gunnison? Count me in. 232 steps to the bottom? No problem. Oh, what do I think of those guys? They're a riot. Those guys are a lot of fun. Um, they definitely had some good questions. They had some kind of strange questions, but they had some fun questions too. I think they got something out of it, learned a little bit. Um, I could tell they definitely liked the canyon. And I think they're gonna have a great time hiking down to the boat tour, down that 300, 232 steps. Um, but I think they'll have even more fun hiking back out, out of the canyon, going up those 232 steps. We're almost there, Joe. Did you count the steps coming down? Because... Yeah, 231, I think. I don't think that, there was 232. That'll, that'll be your heart one. rate on the way oh, up, wait. too. This is 232, 233. Buenos dias. Como esta? Did you get all 233? 233. He hadn't been 233 right there, since birth. Right That's 233 right there. Yeah, I got it. Success. Are you guys on Good morning. Today? Yes, I'm Dustin. How are you? Dustin, I'm Ranger Kirk. Nice to meet what you, Ranger John? Kirk. John, Joe. Nice to see you and Joe. Yeah, Ranger Kirk got to settle in with the trip, but Big Joe there had a little problem with the life vest. Oh, uh, but I still got a problem. Uh, it's adjustable. Come on, Joe. Insert tab A into slot B. So simple, a caveman could do it. This Black Canyon is entirely yours. All 48 miles of it. What a great boat ride. <laughs> the whole deal about this being our park, you know, the, the people's park. Joe's not going to be loving the people's park so much when he has to hike up those 232 steps. <gasps> a mile to go now, 232 steps. Joe, I got a treat up at the top for you. How about a couple pizzas and some cupcakes? Can you make it? I'm good. Let's go. Come on, Joe. Right here. Come on, here. We got you, buddy. 232 steps coming out. It was well worth it. Beautiful. But now it's time to get home. Wow, what an amazing ride. Absolutely. I wish Terry could have finished up with us. Yeah, but he's here with us in spirit. Yeah, Independence Pass, how cool was that? Yeah, my favorite though, Randy Melton. What a great American. Put his country before his family, not once, but twice. True American patriot. Yeah, those guys are hard to come by, man. But how about Marvel? Made in good old USA, are you kidding me? Yeah, red, white, blue, baby. Yeah. All the little lost towns. The forgotten people, the history. Yeah, but we'll find them. That's what we do, man. Let's roll. All right, brother. Told you he's pretty good, didn't I? 
doing a great job of capturing where we rode this time. Isn't it amazing? Sure. You guys went to some great places. Picture this whole thing like that, all your journeys. Yeah. Good old USA. All of it made in the USA, man. Terry, you missed a big old ditch. Black Canyon, the Gunnison. Big you know. ditch. Guys, I'm all in now. I'm ready to roll for the next adventure. So where we go? North, south, east, west. Which direction you boys want to go? Big country. Hmm, I got an idea. What are you thinking? Till next time. Let's roll, boys. Yeah.